Right, the last topic, communication. Communication in business. Communication in business. Right. In the exam about communication, uh, they will ask you about the communication patterns. Right, so we have the sender. Sender is the encoder and uh, receiver is the decoder. So the sender will send the information via different channels to the receiver. Are you sending information via email? Or you want to talk face to face? You understand? Right, the receiver then, the receiver then gives the what? A feedback to the encoder, to the sender. But when you send the information, the, your information can be disturbed by noise. We have different types of noise. Noise, there can be environmental noise. Environmental noise that physically disrupt communication. The people who are, who are working maybe in the, in the, in the, in the factories, they are doing production, they are machines, they are machines there. So, in for communication, uh, you, you, you can be disrupted when you want to communicate because of the noise. You might not be able to, to hear clearly. You understand? People are, will be shouting. You understand? <laughs> so, noise also affects. Uh, also, what else? Organizational noise. Maybe the organization doesn't, uh, maybe they have poorly retained instructions. They uh, psychological noise. Psychological noise, maybe you just have stress. Then someone sends you uh, maybe information, you might not be able to interpret it well because you're stressed, you understand? So, psychologically, to you, it may be noise. <laughs> someone may be playing music. Not even disturbing you, but to you it may be noisy if you have stress. You just say it's noise. Even the type of music that you like. <laughs> nice. So the social noise as well. Right, that's the types of communication. Communication can be formal, can be formal. If it's formal, this is you are not following the you are not following um, what your organization wants you to send wants you to communicate. Like maybe in your respective groups or the way you communicate is formal. It has been said by the organization. But if it's informal, just communicate with anyone who you want to talk to. It's informal, it's not said by the organization. Like you have not been told that if you want anything, you report to your supervisor. Informal, you just talk to anyone who you want to talk to. Maybe during lunch time. So it's informal. But informal, there's a challenge. It causes grapevine. People will spread rumors and gossips. But the advantage is it motivates people. Right? Then, on, on, on formal communication, it can be vertical. Right? On communication, this is vertical communication, this is horizontal. Vertical, you're communicating with someone who is your senior, or senior communicating to the junior. The key thing on vertical is you're on different levels. Horizontal, you're on the same levels. It can be diagonal. This is diagonal now. Diagonal. Just imagine, guys, uh, this is the finance department. This is HR department. Human resource department. So imagine a junior who wants to, stop, who wants to talk to the senior manager in HR. You work in finance department, but you are communicating with someone who is on different department, number one, Number two, on different level, it makes it a diagonal communication. Right. Then, uh, the other thing, guys, don't forget that horizontal is also known as what? Literal communication for exam purposes. Right, don't forget. Right, 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 right. Move on to the keeping the patterns. So what affects information to be effective? It can be the language, or it can be conflicts. You are having conflicts. So guys, people who are having conflicts, when they want to communicate now to each other, then they... So then if it's a problem, then also information overload, it's a problem, distance, personal differences. That can be a challenge as well. Now, um, you need to understand the patterns, the communication patterns, that's the last thing. The last thing is the communication patterns. Communication patterns. This is the last thing, communication patterns. So, 
we do have wheel, circle, or channel chain in white. So guys, wheel um, is centralized. So what do we have on the centralized? If it's centralized, we are saying we are not delegating the work. Um, we are not delegating. Communication is coming from the person who is central, like the senior, communicating to all, to everyone. You understand? That's centralized. On the centralized, we have, um, what do we have? We have chain, wheel, and wire. Look at the wheel. Imagine here is your senior in between. He is able to communicate to everyone at once. So that's why they say wheel is the fastest. So in the exam, if they say which of the following is the fastest, just know it's what? Wheel. The senior or the person who is central can communicate to all of them at once. You understand? Then we also have um, why. Why the person is central here? You can communicate to how many at once? One, two, three. But this one can then pass to the other one. You understand? So that's why it's not the fastest. We have one. We have chain. We have central person here. Imagine on chain, you can communicate to the one on the right, to the one on the left. Then, then one on the right and left, you can then communicate. They can pass to the other. Right? That's centralized. So chain, wheel, and wire is centralized. But the fastest is what? Is wheel. Right? Then the last one, what do we have? Circle and all channel. Circle and all channel is decentralized. So now if they say in the exam, which of the following is the slowest? Circle is the slowest circle. Just imagine, so there's, we don't have a central person. Just imagine, you want to send the information, you communicate to this one, this one will pass to this one, this one will pass to this one. It can be clockwise, it can be anti-clockwise. It is the slowest, you understand? The fastest is wheel, the slowest is circle. And what about all channel? All channel, we don't have a central person. Yes, you, the advantage is you can talk to anyone, you understand. That's all channel. But all channel, uh, it, since you can talk to anyone, the advantage is it, it helps to solve um, maybe when, when you have complex areas, so you use all channel. So for, for, for making a decision which is, which is more improved, you use all channel because you can talk to anyone. So all channel helps you to solve complex uh, problems, you understand? So that's all channel. All channel for complex, if it's slowest, it's circle. The fastest, it's wheel. Centralized, these are the three, these are the decentralized. That's communication. So we are done. Thank you very much for your time.